ever pondered about the current state of the market? It's a complex, ever-changing landscape, yet understanding it can mean the difference between success and failure. So, let's delve into the details. The market, having recently soared to record highs, has now entered a state of range-bound trade. This means it's fluctuating within a specific range, without any significant upward or downward movement. Based on chart patterns, this range-bound state is anticipated to persist for a few more sessions. Now, let's talk about hurdles and supports. For the Nifty 50, an index of 50 major stocks on the National Stock Exchange of India, the hurdle on the higher side is expected to be 22,800, while the support on the lower side is projected to be between 22,500 and 22,400. These figures coincide with the 10-day and 21-day exponential moving averages respectively. If this range breaks on either side, it could provide a firm direction for the index in the coming days. On May 2nd, the benchmark indices closed the range-bound session on a positive note. The BSE Sensex, a stock market index of 30 well-established and financially sound companies listed on Bombay Stock Exchange, rose by 128 points to 74,611. Meanwhile, the Nifty 50 climbed 43 points to 22,648, forming a bullish candlestick pattern with a minor upper shadow on the daily charts. A few key players in the market have also made significant moves. Coal India, the country's largest coal mining firm, recorded a consolidated net profit of 8,640.5 crore for the quarter ended in March 2024. This figure marks a sharp increase of 25.8% over the year-ago period, despite a weak top line. This growth was aided by strong operating numbers, a fall in input cost and reduced employee expenses. On the other hand, Kofuj, an IT services company, recorded a consolidated net profit of 229.2 crore for the March 2024 quarter, falling 5.6% compared to the previous quarter. This was impacted by weak operating numbers, although revenue from operations grew by 1.5% sequentially. Ajanta Pharma, a specialty pharmaceutical formulation company, reported a consolidated net profit of 203 crore for the quarter ended in March 2024, rising sharply by 66% over the same period in the previous fiscal year. Revenue from operations grew by 20% during the same period. Lastly, Moyle, a manganese ore production company, reported a 22% year-on-year increase in production in April 2024, while sales grew by 17%. To summarize, the market is currently in a state of range-bound trade, with specific hurdles and supports for the Nifty 50. Several key companies have reported significant financial results, both positive and negative, indicating the dynamic nature of the market. By understanding these elements, one can navigate the market with greater confidence and make informed decisions. So, keep an eye on these developments and remember, knowledge is power in the world of investing.